As you might imagine, with all those drugs becoming FDA approved, now all various combinations, all possible conceivable combinations, different settings, post-transplant maintenance, uh, I, all, all are in the process. There are other drugs that are very interesting and are being studied right now. Um, BCL2 inhibitor, the drug that's currently uh, FDA approved for chronic lymphocytic leukemia and lymphoma, certainly has activity in acute myeloid leukemia and has been studied extensively in combination with hypomethylating agents, both docogen and Vidaza, as well as low-dose cytarabine. And again, as I'm not a fan of low-dose cytarabine, but the combination of the two seem to be effective in uh, uh, older adults with acute myeloid leukemia. So that's awesome to have that option available. Uh, and the PD-1 inhibitors are currently um, making their way again in combinations in the world of uh, leukemia and myelodysplastic syndrome. So that's uh, obviously those drugs are already available and they've approved for many um, full lymphomas and many solid malignancies. So uh, it's again very exciting to see which way this is going to go.